Good morning once again from Cashers, North Carolina. I hope you're having a good Tuesday so far, and I'm glad you could join in this time of prayer. As always, great to be with you. Uh, if you want to chime in, we can see who the congregation is today, so to speak. You give it a like or, or a comment or something like that, a prayer request, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we'll give you a moment to send yourselves, and we'll begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his holy temple. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me. Christ on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful, Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and on my right. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Romans chapter 4. What then are we to say? was gained by Abraham, our ancestor according to the flesh. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now to one who works, wages are not reckoned as a gift, but as something that is due. But to one who, without works, trusts him who justifies the ungodly, such a faith is reckoned as righteousness. So also David speaks of the blessedness of those to whom God reckons righteousness apart from works by saying, Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one against whom the Lord will not reckon sin. Is this blessedness then pronounced only on the circumcised or also on the uncircumcised? We say, Faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it reckoned to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but it was before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had in faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the ancestor of all who believe without, without being circumcised and who thus have righteousness reckoned to them. And likewise the ancestor of the circumcised, who were not only circumcised, but who also followed the example of faith that our ancestor Abraham had before he was circumcised. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle is the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. 
The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew chapter 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, Then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Look, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God and everlasting Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Preserve us with all your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome by any adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Great to be with you in prayer. Look forward to seeing you next time. Go in peace and be well.